This is a story about a man who lives at the end of a dirt road in Groton, in an old farmhouse high on a hill. Meet Harry. He's a native Vermonter whose ancestors were among the town's first settlers. One fine spring day, Harry crossed the road to retrieve his mail. The last of the winter's snow was melting, the birds were singing, and Harry was whistling a cheerful tune. Sifting through the contest entry forms and other junk mail, Harry spotted his monthly bill from Washington Electric Cooperative. Harry's eyes, of course, went straight to the bottom line, but then his jaw dropped. What the? How can that be? This is outrageous, he fumed. Harry stomped down the road to visit his next-door neighbor, Fred, to ask him if he'd also gotten such a high bill. Fred and Gladys have lived next door to Harry for more than 20 years. Fred was tinkering on his lawn tractor when Harry stormed up the driveway, hollering and waving his power bill. As Harry complained about how much he was being charged for electricity, Gladys looked up from her spring yard work. She keeps the household checkbook and is quite familiar with the family's power bill. Gladys explained to Harry that there hadn't been much change in the co-op's rates, so the issue likely is the amount of power he's using. Taking a closer look at Harry's bill, Gladys quickly identified the problem. Harry's using 49 kilowatt hours a day on average, while the average Vermont home uses less than 20 kilowatt hours per day. The more kilowatt hours you use, the more you pay, she explained to Harry. Moving the conversation inside, Gladys showed Harry her co-op bill, and sure enough, it was a lot less than his, even though their houses are about the same size. If you don't like your electricity bill, you have the power to change it, she told Harry. That's what she and Fred had done. Opening her laptop computer, Gladys showed Harry how she uses the co-op's website to review her account. There's even a way to find out how much electricity your family is using per day. If their charges are higher than what they want them to be, they've found out that this is a good way to help them figure out why. Comparing the daily use average on his bill to Gladys and Fred's, Harry could see that his neighbors were using a lot less power than he was. So he asked what their secret was for saving so much money. Gladys explained that last year they had borrowed a handheld, easy-to-use kilowatt test meter at no cost from the co-op. The meter can test anything that plugs into a standard 120-volt household outlet to see how much power it consumes. Fred and Gladys tested the various appliances and gadgets around their home, including their microwave, TV, computer, and other things. After leaving the meter attached for a few days, they saw how much power each item had used. When Fred and Gladys connected the test meter to their old refrigerator, they were shocked at just how much electricity that old power hog was gobbling up. Off they went to the local appliance store, where they shopped for a more energy efficient model. The new fridge cut their power bill by about $26 a month. At that rate, it will pay for itself in less than three years. Fred and Gladys began finding other ways to save, turning off their computers at night, using energy-efficient light bulbs everywhere, inside and outside the house, avoiding using electric space heaters, and waiting for full loads before running their dishwasher and washing machine. Gladys also called the co-op's energy coach, and that's how she found out about the website. He told her how to use the link that provides an ongoing record of their energy consumption. The energy coach helped her better understand the family's energy use and suggested additional steps they could take to cut costs, like drying clothes outdoors when the weather is good instead of running their electric dryer. It had taken some work, she told Harry, but their monthly co-op bill really had gone down. Gladys was quite proud of the fact that they were now using less power than the average co-op member. After all, she said, who wants to be just average? Hearing all this, Harry was thinking about that new electric space heater he'd been using to keep his seedlings warm. Could be that's one reason my power bill was so high, he thought to himself. Harry was getting excited about using the kilowatt test meter to find out for sure. Harry was impressed by his neighbor's action to cut their electricity use, but as he was on his way out, he paused. He was still puzzled by one thing. He thought that those digital meters that the co-op had installed at everyone's home and business were supposed to save people money. 
Gladys helped Harry understand that the new digital meters automatically relay total daily electricity use to the co-op, which is information she can access by reviewing her account on the co-op's website. But the digital household meter by itself won't make a difference. For that, you need to use a kilowatt handheld test meter to pinpoint which individual things in your home are using the most power and take action to reduce their usage if possible. Harry headed home to call the energy coach and borrow one of those test meters so that he could also find ways to save on his power bill. The last of the winter's snow was melting, the birds were singing, Harry was again whistling a cheerful tune. Hey, it turned out to be a fine spring day after all. <laughs>